What's up, bud? <laughs> you always pass out on my stream. A cold breeze brushes my cheek. I stagger back to my feet. Hey, it's backwards. Where am I? This place doesn't feel real. It seems vaguely familiar, but at the same time, it doesn't. What am I doing here? My head pounds when I try to remember. All my thoughts are fuzzy. It's almost like I'm dreaming. None of this feels real. A whisper comes from somewhere. It's time for a tale. Once upon a time, there was a child named Kaguya, who lived in the realm of the dead. Kaguya had a daddy. Kaguya loved her daddy so very much. Kaguya's friends were the tiny dolls her daddy gave her. Her previous daddy and the one before that, they all gave her tiny dolls. Those tiny dolls were Kaguya's best friends. The hell is going on? What should I do? My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not right. What should I do? That's right, I... I have to look for Kakuya. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path. And next thing I know, I'm in some sort of room. It feels familiar here, too. I can hear a shower running behind the frosted glass door. Over the sound of water flowing, so flowing, someone's singing. I should know that voice, but I can't remember who it is. Is someone there? Hey, answer me! That's right. Big Brother, you shouldn't talk to that girl. That hussy girl flirts with all kinds of guys. She'll contaminate you. Kakuya is much prettier. Big bro. Who's more important to you, Kakuya or that hussy girl? I open my mouth to ride, but I can't remember her name. But I have to resist Kakuya or she'll devour my heart. Haruki. Oh, Hazuki. <laughs> Even I don't remember her name. Hazuki. The Hussy Girl... The Hussy Girl is better than Kakuya. Big bro, you've been seduced by that evil pig, haven't you? Okay then. All Kakuya has to do is erase her from inside you. Hazuki? I know her. The idol who helped me, Karu Hazuki. I bet that's gonna become a thumbnail. I've been here. What in the world is going on? Kakuya must be behind this, but what's she after? I smell this mouth service and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the finale of the tale. It wasn't long until Kaguya had a new daddy. Unlike any of the old daddies, the new one gave her a little girl doll. One doll followed by another and another still, and then Kaguya received her fourth doll. She was surprised. This time, the doll was a grown-up. Kaguya played with the grown-up doll. Grown-ups themselves became interesting. Kaguya wanted to play with her daddy, when she, who she loved. Her daddy said no, but Kaguya played with her daddy regardless. And soon after, her daddy disappeared. What a voice. I kind of, I can kind of tell it, it's talking about Kakuya, but other than that, I have no idea what it's saying. My head feels like a big, empty void. As if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk and walk down the dim, never-ending path.
Before I realize that I'm standing at a railroad crossing, I feel like I know this place too. Who's this? Yo, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's wrong? You can hear me, right? It's rude not to reply when someone's talking to you. I hang up the phone. That's right, Devil. You shouldn't even talk to someone like him. That Yakuza punk takes advantage of you. You'll end up dishonest like he is. Kakuya is nicer. Devlin, the Yakuza punk or Kakuya, who is more important? Amanome. Amanome. <sighs> so you like the Yakuza Pug more than Kukuya? Kukuya is sure that Hugo blackmailed you. Okay then. All Kukuya has to do is erase him from inside you. <laughs> a scream echoes from a short distance away. No, May. More thumbnails! I know who this is. My best friend since elementary, Seiji Amanome. Just like sand spilling between my fingers, my memories of Amanome slowly fade away. I can't even remember his face anymore. It's possible I've lost other precious memories as well. Oh, good evening. D did you make sure to forget everyone important to you other than Kakuya? It's Ami's memory. It was just those two, right? Ami. <laughs> yeah, Kakuya was Ami. Kakuya wanted to be with you, so she was made to give up her body! But Ami isn't needed anymore, so Kakuya threw her outside! Outside? Then where am I? Hmm? Kakuryo! Kakuryo, the realm of the dead. It's the world inside the mirror. I must have been pulled in after Ami started acting strange. That's probably why my head- oh, wrong voice. That's probably why my head feels so blank. Here in Kakuryo, it's just you and Kakuya, Just the two of us! Together after you af even after you die Damn you are you planning to kill me? <laughs> Kakuya loves you dead or alive. So let's play forever and ever <laughs> My head throbs my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not it. I really meant to say Let's play forever and ever. My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not it. I really meant to say. Let's play forever and ever. Get me the hell out of here. My head throbs, my thoughts are a mess. No, that's not it. I really meant to say. Let's play forever and ever. <laughs> Yay! The hell am I saying? It's like I'm a puppet dancing under the control of Kakuya. At this rate, she's gonna. Oh yeah! Kakuya got a grown-up doll from Daddy. So Kakuya learned a lot about grown-ups. They play secret games, have fun without children. Sake, cigars, and you know. <laughs> Why does any of that matter? You see, Kakuya loves you and wants to have fun with you. The way grown-ups do. What the hell are you saying? That's w why... K Kakuya is uh, also... K going to be a grown-up! Oh. 
over here. Uh, uh, bitch, I think you did it wrong. What? What the fuck? The childlike Kukuya doll is transformed into a deformed monster. Only way I can drive it is bizarre. What well, looks like a third arm and leg from a female are grown at odd angles out of the tor of the small torso. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. The monster that was Kukuya seems unused to its grown-up body. Her steps as she stumbles closer are awkward, like she's just learning how to walk. Hi. Can I... Can I still? I can still. Run! My feet are moving before I finish the thought. Most important thing right now is to gain as much time as possible. Enough time to figure out a way to escape from her. Insanity flowing through her is menacing with her crazy obsession toward me. If I'm caught, it'll be the end of me. She's gonna rape you. And given how she looks, I have a friend who will probably watch this at some point. And he knows exactly who he is, but he'd probably be into that. Back here again. Where's Kakuya? My senses are on high alert. I search for any presence nearby. Don't think she's here yet. What do I do now? If this is the realm of the dead, then how do I escape from here? That's the world Ami had been trapped in. <laughs> because I faced the mirrors to each other from the outside, she was able to get out, but... No, it wasn't Ami I saved. It had been Kakuya. She switched places with Ami. I can only guess at why Kakuya switched with her. Maybe her plan was to pretend to be Ami and live with me as my little sister. But me finding out ruined things, and she had to pull out the drastic measures. Kakuya's obsessed with me. And I think about it, it's, it's been this way since the start. She kidnapped Ami to get me involved in Kakuya's game. She got really into continuing it with me. She said it was so she could play with me, who she loves. But why me? Maybe. I already have all the pieces to the puzzle, but my memory right now has holes all over. I've completely forgotten the name of Yakuza Punk and Hussy Girl at this point. Can I really do something about her in the condition I'm in? Much, 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 much. Screams from the mouthpiece of my brain. The tale has reached happily ever after. After her daddy was gone, Kukuya became lonely. Kukuya decided to go outside the mirror and look for her new daddy. Oh, what the hell? I pushed a button, sorry. Oh well. Bim bada bee boom bada dee bim is what it looked like. Said. Can't tell what the whispering voice was saying there at the end. Neither could I. No point in sticking around here. She'll show up eventually. I need to make the first move and find a way to get out of the realm of the dead. As, I, as if guided by an unknown force, I walk and walk and walk down the dim, ever never ending path. I'm standing in a familiar room where, before I realize it. This is the same place where the husky girl was killed in the bathroom. Oh, I remember now. This is my apartment. I wonder if the mirrored room and weird colors are because of this is the realm of the dead. There might be something here. I guess I'll take a quick look. Being in this place, I can't help but think about the scene of death I witnessed. I'll look around the, around the bathroom where she is later. I'll check the other places first. I'm going to slightly ajar. Cold air leaks in through the crack. Putting my hand out the window to try and open it more. Doesn't budge an inch. Alright, I'll next. When I reach the door, I try turning the knob. The door doesn't open. Just in case, I, I look through the people, but the only thing outside is the original area bat bathed in eerie colors. No sign of any people. It's not the living room, that's your bedroom. Look at the kitchen, everything is mirrored here. This place is supposed to be familiar, but for a reason I feel I only feel restless. I searched in the closet under the bed, but didn't find anything in particular. And the closet doesn't appear to connect to somewhere else either. Alright, next I'll... I figure it doesn't budge. Oh right, I haven't checked the window in the living room yet. It's a long shot, but maybe it's open. Alright, next I'll... Not expecting her. No, how did how did you? I was going to bed. Let's play, let's play, let's play. You fucking piece of shit. I drive both fists into Kukuya's toes, but she doesn't even flinch. It's like I'm hitting a boulder. Kakuya loves you. 
Kakuyo wants to have lots of fun with you. If you don't love Kakuya, then you won't be forgiven. I can't, my head's getting hazy. I can't think any. Yay, tell me! Who do you love the most? Okay. None of you. I don't like Kakuya. I don't like Kakuya, and I don't like Kakuya. No. But I don't love you. You're you're a dick, you're a whore, you're a bitch. I don't want this. Boo. We don't love you. Hey, why? Why are you quiet? I love you so much! Bullshit. As my thoughts fade, I remember all the people whose lives were destroyed because of this girl's game. Tommy. <laughs> Marihachi! Aunt Natsumi. Hey, Kakuya, I really hate you. You're lying. You're lying, 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 you're lying. No! She said it better. Kokuya screeches and my sights go completely white. My body is enveloped in a strange floating sensation. Brother? Big brother! Hey, wake up! This voice. Ah. Uh. I open my eyes to Ami staring at me worriedly. Big brother, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm a little dizzy, but I'm alright. Oh, thank goodness! Her expression morphs into relief. I mean, it looks like Ami, I know, but... Are you really Ami? I, I am the real Ami. I'm not Kakuya. Ami, then. You remember when she possessed you? I remember. I was mostly awake, so... And you remember about Aunt Natsumi, too? Yeah. Kakuya, she did terrible things to Mom, didn't she? Yeah. But, uh, it was thanks to Mom that I was able to save you. What do you mean? Mom tried to join two mirrors face to face in order to save me, so I did the same thing. I see. The reason I escaped was because Ami joined the mirrors. That strange floating feeling after everything turned white must have been how I got out. But what happened to Kakuya? I grabbed the mirror that still looked into the realm of the dead and see. You're kidding me. N no way! The small silhouette in the mirror. It's Kakuya. Devlin, look! She she's coming closer! She's a uh, freaky bitch. Shit. Well, in that case. Seriously? Come on, break, damn it! He's gonna hurt himself. Some sort of strange power seems to be working on the mirror. What the hell? Is there nothing I can do but wait until she gets out? 
If Kakuya escapes, then it's all over. She'll kill Ami, who's just a nuisance to her, and I'll be pulled back into the realm of the dead. But what can I do? NG! Huh? NG is Kakuya's secret! If we can find out what it is, maybe we can get out- can get away from her somehow! She's right. When I brought up NG to Kakuya before, she freaked out. If we have any chance, that'd be it. What is this NG that Kakuya hates so much? Think about everything that's happened. I must have heard about it recently. NG is... No good. What else? Is an abbreviation for no good. Yeah, that's true, but that's not it! Then NG must be... I just want to do them all. Right, the Nagoshi no Gi. I just had to click no good since that's what people say the actual title means, but I don't know. Yes, I'm extremely grateful to Nobaru. His entire... And, okay, we already read this. His entire... It's entirely due to Ishimaru's family cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. That Nagoshi no Gi ritual, whatever, yeah? Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to NG? That sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything like that that draws interest of the Kakuya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. Could it be? Does NG refer to Nago Nagoshi no Gi? The Nagoshi no Gi was original for giving a doll a giving a doll plaything to Kakuya, which sealed her in the mirror. People originally offered special dar charge with spiritual power by the Moroku family, but an accident caused Yokomo Rebecca to lose his spiritual powers that he couldn't perform his role. So the alternative method he chose was altering young girls into dolls instead. Shit. Well, now I know the meaning of NG. That means there are two ways to seal Kakuya. One is to pour spiritual power into a special doll and offer it to her. The other is to turn a girl into a doll and offer it to her. Well, we ain't doing number two! Both of them are absolutely insane and desperate, but which one gives us a chance? Well, we're not gonna turn Ami into a doll. Who the fuck would pick the other one? But what to do? What do they mean by special doll? Think! Something Moroku owned and could be playmate with Kakuya. Okay, you're not. Okay, you're just stupid. Something at the Moroku residence that connects the two Kakuya. Wait, it couldn't be that, could it? Big brother? Ami, call me, call me if Kakuya comes out. I'm just gonna leave you here. The one she wants to kill. Here it is. I dig under my bed and it doesn't take me long to find what I'm searching for. A replica doll of Kakuya that will be found in the attic of the Moroku residence. If anything's connected to her, it'd be this. Plus this doll. Hmm. What's... Hey, what's this? Oh, that's... Oh, since the, I'm the last successor of the Moroku family, it's just junk now. I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. Huh. <laughs> it would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean by power of your hands? Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual power onto the doll and give it to her. If Moroku doesn't have kids or other family, then there's no one who can perform the ritual, which would definitely make the doll junk. Takuma Moroku died because of, the, because of Kakuya, of course. Kakuya considered him her daddy, but he was still killed in the end. Think harder. Dig into my memories. There might be an answer buried in there. Kakuya must have loved her daddy, so then why was Moroku killed? If I believe what Kukui said, and the mouth's words I heard back in the realm of the dead, it all started when he gave the fourth grown-up doll the tea doll. That changed her, and she started getting interested in grown-ups. Moroku was probably killed with Kukuya's game. The deranged love that makes her kill the ones she likes so that they die in painful anguish. That must be Kukuya's essence. And after she was free, she killed Yuri Takamura, then came after me and Ami. Her interest in us is really strange. Why us? <laughs> Big brother! Shit, she's here. Where? Yeah, double that. Ugh. Is she trying to get out? With an insane screech, Kukuya attempts to come out of the realm of the dead. 
We're out of time. We're ending this nightmarish game tonight. And for that, I'll need to. Why would I give it to Ami? Ami has said no- Okay. They just want to see how dumb you are at the end of this game, I think. There's not a shred of evidence, but from the scattered piece of the puzzle, the full picture that's forming is leading me to a certain possibility. I never knew my dad's face. Mom was the only one with me since I was born. And she was such a huge fan of Yakumo Miroku that she'd barge into the Miroku residence. The power blood met you in my right hand. And Miroku, family had special power so they could perform the ritual. Plus Kakuya's abnormal obsession with me. If this is all caused by the blood flowing in me. Is it possible? Is Yakumo Miroku my father? No time to be shocked. The only way I'll survive this- that, that, that is a bit of a shock, though. Is it believed that- But I was kind of coming to that conclusion on my own, to be fair. I'll survive this if I believe that possibility and I have to perform NG, the Negoshi no Gi, with my hand. But this big question is, which hand do I use? The hand Maroku used in the ritual was the one with the power to bestow. Was that the right hand or the left hand? Well, you just said your right hand is the blood metri, so wouldn't it be your left? But... So, yeah, it'd be your left, right? Right is for blood metry, you said it. Left is to bestow. I choose my left hand. The opposite hand of the one that has the blood metry power. I remember what Moroku said. Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow and another power. If my power has been passed down from generation to generation in my family, then maybe Moroku has also had a, similar, a power similar to blood metry. And that's the other power Moroku was talking about, than the power of his right hand. The power to bestow would be the other hand, the left hand. I grip the doll with my left hand and focus on my left hand. And focus on my left hand, just like I do when I'm doing blood metry. Hey, Kakuya, if you want to play so badly, then play with this. The doll is absorbed into the mirror. No! That's not on auto, by the way. When she's talking, sometimes it's just running fast. Kakuya disappears into the mirror. Is it over? Probably. What happened to Kakuya? She went back to her world inside the mirror. She'll probably be quiet for a while now while she plays with that doll. I just performed the true Negoshi no Gi. The ritual different from the emergency methods Maroku stooped to by turning into the dolls. I'm sure it'll be fine. Time to have some babies. <laughs> Is mom gonna get better now? Yeah, I'm sure she will. And Amanome too. The people who died because of Kaku's game won't ever come back. But at the very least, the ones who are alive have been saved. End of the game. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, next! Sir, could you not? Tonight so calls for more, and you know why? The death march is over. You haven't been able to go home in a while, right? Your wife must be worried sick. <laughs> I doubt she'll even notice me gone. She's wrangling our kids into doing homework. Last I heard, they left it to the last minute. Ah, oh, that's right. Summer vacation ends today, doesn't it? I pass a couple salary men talking about their lives. On stifling nights like this, I'd rather take walks than stay plopped in front of the AC at home. Hence my current activity, wandering Kisoji at night. Being able to waste time doing nothing makes me realize my daily life is back to how it used to be. It's been a week since Kakuya was sealed. 
Since then, all abnormal phenomenon around me has stopped altogether. I haven't sensed her presence once, and the whispers have been silent. People around me have slowly been getting back to their normal lives, too. Oh, Natsumi regained consciousness immediately after Kukuya was sealed. She took a few days off, just in case, but she's been back working at the bar already. She told me she started writing another horror novel. I asked her if she knew anything about Moroku and my mom, but she didn't know anything else. Guess my mom didn't share details about my dad with anyone, not even Moroku. She might have noticed that Moroku's family dark secret after their relationship deepened. Did she keep my tie to Moroku's secret from me so I wouldn't get caught up in that? Ami's back to her regular lively self. She's even started helping her mom. I still watch over her whenever Aunt Natsumi is busy. Amanome's woken up as well. When Azuki and I visited him in the hospital, he told us he was done with occult crap. The day he was discharged, I returned the gun I'd been holding onto for him. Last I heard of Bon, he was pursuing a new case. His target... His target's this Princess Mach. Mach. Some urban legend about a fast-driving spirit. Rosé has been traveling overseas doing her magician gig. The king of some country is apparently a big fan and paid her an exorbitant amount to visit. I heard all these incidents have sparked an interest in mysterious cases in Oe. She's been trying to convince her higher-ups to create a new department just to solve them. But it sounds like it's been a hard sell. And Hazuki is... It's almost time. We're meeting at my place tonight. She says she's gotten her hands on some limited concert merch that Ami wanted. So she's excited to sneak out of her place to deliver them to her in person. I better get going. Gotta pick up Ami. I pick Ami up at the Black Rabbit and we take our regional route back to my apartment while we're relaxing. Hazuki stops by. <laughs> Good morning! How are you feeling, Ami? You handling the heat okay? No summer cold, I hope. I'm fine. What about you, Karo? I see you a lot of TV. You must be really busy. <laughs> I slacked off for a while there. I need to make up for it. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. This is for you, Ami. Hazuki hands her a pink, round ghost plushie. Ah, it's Momo! It's a rare momochi! Made only for the concert. Sorry, right, I clicked button. They dug up a couple for me from the agency's warehouse. I hope you like it. Wow, I love it! Thank you so much, Ko! Ami beams, her smile taking up her whole face. It's like it's been forever since I last saw her smile so innocently like that. Innocently like that. Oh, damn. What's wrong? I probably should have grabbed one for you, huh, Cade? You'd like one of your own, right? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, is that interest I see? I don't mind getting one for you next time. I'm so glad to see you're doing well, Ami. At any rate, Kokuyu was so horrible disguising herself as you. You said it, she completely fooled me. Doubt she'll show her face ever again, though. She's sealed in the mirror in your bathroom, right? Is it okay to keep it there? Wouldn't it be better if a, sh if a shrine watched over it for you? I did ask not Snoopy to set something up. I'm keeping an eye on it until it's ready. If you're being cautious, then there's nothing to worry about. Before I can raise a hand to stop her, Hazuki cautiously peeks into the mirror. So this is where Kukuya got out. She continues gazing into the mirror. What is it? I just thought it'd be great if I could keep this mirror for myself, only half seriously. I don't think it's a good, a good idea. Blah, blah. I agree, you're right about that. <laughs> Ami begs us to play cards after, so we end up doing that for a while. Old maid, concentration, we'll play all the usual games, and Hazuki wins them all. She claims it's all thanks to her guardian angel. Yawn. Man, am I sleepy. Night's fallen before I realize. Ami's tucked into a corner sound asleep, must have tired herself out from all the talking. The leshy Hazuki gave her is tucked in her arms, she must really like it. Miss Natsumi ra Miss Natsumi's rather late, isn't she? She's got a deadline coming up for her novel. With all the crazy stuff happening with Ami, she probably didn't get a lot of done. Worst case, she's pulling an all-nighter. When she's focused, she loses all track of time. Oh, well, then she might take a while. Since we have nothing to do, how about we attempt a table-turning seance? No. I've had enough of this occult and spiritual crap, getting heartburn just thinking about it. More importantly, Hazuki. You still into all that occult shit even after what you've been through? 
Of course, it is both Karu Hazuki and Momokurusu's purpose in life. Figured you'd be turned off by all that by now. <laughs> Not a chance! Now I'm even more curious about the ghosts and the occult. It's all because I've been able to see them with my own eyes. If spirits are real, then Bigfoot and Chushinoko should be too, right? Dreams know, know no bounds. You're pretty tough. Well, obviously I was scared too. I nearly died several times. I can't forget what happened to Maru. But you know what? I still like it because I like it. And that emotion is so much stronger in me than my fear or disgust. I don't understand her at all, but I'll admit that love of hers helped me through all of this. That passion is what drove her to stick by me till the end. Hey, listen. I want to keep going after all kinds of mysterious, mysterious learn all their secrets. With you along with me, of course. Count me out. What? Really? Are you really going to stop going after them? Oh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. From set skill sets to spirit status, you've been more- you've been Mama Caruso's perfect partner. Well, anyway. She gazes into my eyes, a full smile blo blooming on her face. Our bond may have been faded from our previous lives. I'm glad to have worked with you again. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, I'm not- I'm not into the whole love between them thing. That's not- that's not, not, not- I don't like forcing that. He just doesn't seem like the type. I also don't see him wanting to get back into that. <sighs> now look at us, I think we finally got to the end. Probably heard that really well with that being there. Oh look, I finally get I finally get a shot of him in the in the shower. <laughs> He's a cute little punk, ain't he? You're a little psychopath, motherfucker. <laughs> so I'll never get... <laughs> well, I can't make money on YouTube ever, because I swear too much and I don't care about censoring. I'm not playing again, game. You didn't even just get to take me back. Alright, anyway, I'm not playing again. So, we beat the game. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's see. Let's let's sum up. Compare it to Deathmark, which is the, uh, the first one, and NG. I really like NG in that less reading about like every little action because I think the first one did overkill on that. This one kind of used sound effects. Welcome back. Sound effects for our- you just missed the ending. Sound effects for our benefit so I don't have to like, I opened the door. No, it's clearly he's going inside. Um, are also like a lot more of the, the, the artwork and some other things. And I feel like they, they toned down the sexual aspect a little bit from the first game, which is also kind of nice. Uh, I think I kind of preferred the fighting sequences more in Deathmark than NG, but I think they could really find a good medium between the two. Um, both lacked good hints. Like, there are hints, don't get me wrong, and I'm probably stupid and I miss a lot of them, but 
there's some that just feel like this is not a good enough hint. I know it might just want me to figure out, but either way. Um, Story-wise, uh, I think Deathmark wins there, because I think it felt a little more um, deep. Like it had more mystery, more, and the, the finding out, you know, Mary's evil and all, I think that all worked nice. Um, but, uh, the characters in this game versus the characters in the other games, let me just flag down like I'm guiding the plane here, uh, I feel like it was easier to do voices in Deathmark because they had more characters, like colorful characters, like clearly like, hey, this character's gonna be unique, let's, let's, whereas these ones were all very, uh, normal-ish. Oh, in the end, both the games are good, but they're good in their own ways. Um, and I think that's the end of the series. I don't know if they're making a third, but that'd be cool if they did. I'd play it. But for now, I have to figure out my next game, and I have options. I'm thinking Remothered. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, except for you, Dark Solo. Thank you for joining to fall asleep and then come back to tell me you fell asleep as the game is over. Thank <laughs> you.